This question is about group 2 and group 17 or 7. Part A. Barium chloride can be prepared from barium hydroxide in a neutralisation reaction. Write an equation for this reaction. State symbols are not required. When writing any equation, we need to start by writing our reactants. So we have barium hydroxide as one of our reactants, and this is a strong base. So barium hydroxide is BaOH2, the 2 because barium has a 2 plus charge and the OH ion has a 1 minus charge, so you need 2 to balance the charges. Because it's a strong base and it's a neutralisation reaction, we need to react this strong base with a strong acid. And we're making barium chloride, so our strong acid would be hydrochloric acid. We would then form barium chloride, BaCl2, and water. But we need to balance this equation by writing a 2 in front of our hydrochloric acid. We also need to write a 2 in front of our water. And to get this mark for part A, you need to have this entire equation correct and balanced. Part B. The reactivity of group 2 elements, magnesium to barium, increases down the group. Explain why. This is a very common three mark question with a set answer. Atomic radii increases down the group. Nuclear attraction will decrease alongside ionisation energies. Um, so to get the three marks for this question, you need to have written the three bullet points that I will demonstrate in a minute. So we need to say that atomic radii increases, nuclear attraction and ionisation energy decreases. We could also add that electron shielding increases but that would get you the same mark as atomic radii increases. So this is a very common question and I would recommend learning these stages um, so that you can use them in the future and apply them to very similar questions. Part C. On gently heating the compound KClO3 reacts as shown in the equation. This reaction is an example of disproportionation. Part 1. State what is meant by disproportionation and use oxidation numbers to show that disproportionation takes place. So firstly with this question let's define the term disproportionation. Disproportionation is where oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously um, of the same element. So if we look at the equation that we've been given and we write the oxidation numbers, potassium would always have an oxidation state of plus one and oxygen will always have minus two. So we can continue writing that across the equation. So it would be chlorine that's going to have disproportionation. We can work out the oxidation numbers of chlorine. If we take equation or well, KClO3, the first bit of the equation, we have plus one plus minus two times three, and that gives us minus five. So the oxidation number of chlorine will be plus 5 in its reactant state. For the products, the first product, KCl, the Cl or chlorine will have a minus 1 oxidation state. If we look at our next product, we can work out the oxidation state of chlorine by having plus 1 plus minus 2 times 4 that would give us minus 7, making the oxidation state of chlorine plus 7. So, when answering the question, we can say chlorine 
and it has a plus 5 to minus 1 oxidation state and a plus 5 to plus 7. So if we link it to the oxidation and reduction, oxidation is the plus 5 to plus 7 and then reduction is the plus 5 to minus 1 change in oxidation state. Part 2, oh, to get the three marks for this question, firstly, you need to have the correct definition, so oxidation and reduction of the same element, saying that it's chlorine, and then giving the example of reduction oxidation using oxidation numbers or oxidation states. Moving on to part two, what is a systematic name of KClO4? The answer to this is potassium, because there's the K, chlorate, because that's the name of a CLO n ion it doesn't matter if it's four three two so on but we need to state the number and the number will be seven and that is because if we link back to the oxidation states the chlorine's got an oxidation state of plus seven to get the mark for this question you need to have the correct name with the correct roman numeral part d two changes are described below for each change Write an equation using state symbols. State and explain how entropy changes. Part 1. The reaction of aqueous barium nitrate with aqueous sodium sulfate. Write the full equation with state symbols and an explanation of entropy change. Okay, first let's write the equation. Barium nitrate, Ba brackets NO32 aqueous we know this because we're told it's aqueous barium nitrate in the question and then plus aqueous sodium sulfate and that is Na2SO4 aqueous and it produces barium sulfate which is a solid and sodium nitrate which is an aqueous solution. And we need to balance by putting a two in front of our sodium nitrate. Entropy is a measure of disorder. And because we're forming a solid, entropy will decrease. And the reason for this is because BaSO4 solid or barium sulfate has less disorder. To get the two marks for this question, you need to write the equation correctly, balanced with the correct state symbols, and then you need to say that entropy is decreasing because there's less disorder because a solid is produced. Part two, the change that accompanies the standard enthalpy change of atomization of iodine we need to write the equation with state symbols and an explanation of entropy change. Okay, again, starting with writing an equation, we want the standard enthalpy change of the atomization of iodine. That means we're going to form one gaseous iodine molecule. So we start with half iodine in a solid form, going to one iodine in a gaseous form. Entropy, well, in this case, is going to increase because we're forming more gaseous molecules. So gas has more disorder would be our explanation for this question. To get the two marks for this question, you need to write the correct equation and have the correct explanation. So saying that entropy increases and gas has more disorder. 